Hey everybody, Bobby D here. Welcome to the Daily Prayer Time. It's usually me and my mom, but tonight my mom's been real busy lately. Now she's tired. She has she hasn't eaten anything all day today. Her blood sugar is going low. I want you to pray for her. So she's told me that I'm doing prayer tonight by myself. So that's what it is. It'll be back to normal tomorrow. Without further ado, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this night our daily rest, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, dear Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and for thy is the kingdom and the power of ever and ever. Good night, God. October 11th, Jesus is calling. I am... the culmination of all your hopes and dreams. No, let me read this again. I am the culmination of all your hopes and desires. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the final and the last, the first and last, who is and who, who is and was and is to come. Before you know me, you expressed your longing for me in horrible, in horrible way, longing me in horrible ways. You were ever so vulnerable to the evil around you in the world. That now is, but now my presence safely shields you, enfolding you in my loving, loving arms. I have lifted you out of darkness and into my marvelous light. Though I have brought many people pleasures into your life, not one of them is essential. Receive my blessings with open hands. Enter my good gifts, but do not cling to them. Turn your attention to the giver of all good things and rest in the knowledge that you are complete in me. The one thing you absolutely need is that one thing you can never lose, my presence with you. Psalm 42 verses, no, Psalm 62 verses five to eight. Revelation chapter one verse eight. First Peter chapter two verse nine. In James chapter 1 verse 17. Heavenly Father, we pray today for all our sick loved ones who are struggling mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, or what, and whatever. That they come to you, Christ, and pray for you to heal them. I pray in Jesus' name that you heal all these sick people in many aspects in life, physical, mental, and spiritual. I pray in Jesus' name that you give a new light to what it is. That's what it is. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today is October 11th. I'm going to... Continuing on Nehemiah. Law and Covenant. Once settled, the people who called together for a reading of the law on the first day of the civil year, Ezra and Nehemiah and the Levites spend 
Long now is reinterpreting the law. When the people mourn for all their sins they have committed under the law, they are reminded that it is a festival day to be celebrated, and the people soon join in the restitution of the Festival of Tabernacles, which commemorates the Israelites living in tents during the wilderness wanderings. Some three weeks later, the law is read again, and the people respond with great national confession and, writ and a written covenant with God. Truly, it is one of the finest hours in the history of God's people. Perhaps the years of exile have served to purge much of the rebelliousness of earlier generations. Ezra reads law. When the seventh month came and the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people came together as one in the square before the water gate. They told Ezra to teach her the law to bring our book of the law of Moses, which is the Lord had commanded for Israel. So on the first day of the seventh month, as the Lord of Priests brought the law before the assembly, which is made up by men and women who all who were able to understand. He read it aloud from daybreak till noon as he faced the square before the water gate in the presence of men, women, and others who could understand. All the pe and all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. As we were to teach our law stood on a high wooden platform built for the occasion. Beside him, his right stood Mastasiah, Shema, Aniah, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Masaiah. On the left were Padiah, Mishael, Malhika, Hashum, Hashagabaniah, Zechariah, and Meshalom. As I opened the book, all the people could see him because he was standing above them. And he opened it. All the people stood up as sort of praise the Lord, the great God. And all the people lifted their hands and responded, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Levites is her law. The Levites, Yeshua, Benign, Shabbat, Jamin, Akula, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Messiah, Kalita, Azariah, Josephad, Hanan, and Paliah. He spoke to the people while, while the people were standing there. They read the book of the law of God, making, make, making it clear and given the meaning so that the people understood what was being read. Mourners to celebrate. The Nehemiah the governor, Ezra the priest, and teacher of the law, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to them all, This is a day the Holy Lord, your God, do not this day is holy to the Lord your God. I'm. So do not mourn or weep. For all the people have been weeping as they listened to the words of the Lord. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, and send some of those who have nothing prepared 
the day of is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Levites calm them, all the people saying, Be still, for this is the holy day. Do not grieve. Then all the people who went away to eat and drink, to send portions of food, and to celebrate with great joy, because they now understood the word that had been made known to them. Festival of the Tabernacles. On the second day of the month, the heads of all the families, along with the priests and the Levites, gathered around Ezra, the teacher, to give attention to the words of the law. They found written in the law which the Lord had commanded to Moses, that the Israelites were to live in temporary shelters during the festival of the seventh month, and that they should proclaim this word and spread it throughout their towns in Jerusalem. Go into the hill country and bring back branches of from olive, from olive oil and from olive and wild olive trees. And from myrtles, palms, and shade trees. To make temporary shelters as it is written. So the people went on and brought back branches and built themselves temporary shelters on their own roofs and their courtyards in the courts of the house of God and in the square by the water gate and the one by the gate of Ephraim. The whole company had returned from exile, built temporary shelters, and lived in them. From the days of Joshua son of Nun until that day, the Israelites had not celebrated like this. And the joy was very great. Day after day, from the first to the last, day to the last, Ezra read the book of the law of God. They celebrated the festival for seven days, and on the eighth day, in accordance with regulation, there was an assembly. Day of Confession On the 24th day of the same month, the Israelites gathered together fasting and wearing sackcloths and patting dust on, and putting dust on their heads. Though the Israelite descent had separated themselves from all foreigners, they stood in their places and confessed their sins and the sins of their ancestors. They stood where they were and read from the book of the law, the Lord their God, a for a quarter of the day and spent another quarter of the conf in confession and in worshiping the Lord, their God, standing on the stairs of the Levites, were Jeshua, Benai, Kanamel, Shemamiah, Bunai, Shabiah, Benai, Kenai. They cried out with loud voices to the Lord their God. Confessional Prayer And the Levites, Geshe, Kenyel, Banai, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shabaniah, and Pethodiah said, Stand up and praise the Lord your God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, and you may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens in all their starry hosts. The earth and all that is on it, the suns, the seas, and all that is in them. You gave them, you gave life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. 
you are the Lord God who chose Abram to and brought him out of Uz of the Chaldeans and named him Abraham. You found his hard people to you and you made a covenant with it, with him to give to his descendants the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amites, Phorosites, Gebusites, and Gergesites. You have kept your promise because you are righteous. You saw the suffering of our ancestors in Egypt. You heard their cry at the Red Sea. You sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his officials, and all the people of his land, but you knew how arrogantly the Egyptians treated them. You made a name for yourself, which remains to the same. You divided the sea before them, so that they passed through it on dry ground. But you hurled their pursuers into the depths like a stone into muddy waters. By the day you led them to a pillar of cloud, and by night with a pillar of fire, you them light on the way they were to take. You came down to Mount Sinai. You spoke to them from heaven. You gave them regulations and laws that are just and right, and decrees and commands that are good. You are made known to them, you holy Sabbath, and gave them commands, decrees, and laws through your servant Moses. In the hunger you gave them bread from heaven, and in the thirst you brought them water from the rock. You told them to go and take possession of the land. And you laid, and you had sworn with uplifted hand to give them. But they, our ancestors, became arrogant and stiff necked, and they did not obey your commands. You refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became stiff-necked and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiving God, gracious and comprehensible, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore you did not desert them, even when they came when they can't they cast for themselves an image of a cat and said this is your God who brought you up out of Egypt or when they committed awful blasphemies because of your great compassion you did not abandon them in the wilderness but the day of power, God did not be able to guide them on their path, nor the pillar of fire by night, to shine the way they were to take you, gave your good spirit, good spirit, instruct them. You did not withhold your manna from their mouths, and you gave them water for their thirst. For forty years, you sustained them in the wellness. You lacked nothing, and their clothes did not wear out, nor did their feet become swollen. You gave them kingdoms and nations, allowing to, to them even the remotest frontiers. They took over the country of Sihon, king of Heshbon, and of the country of Ah, king of Bashan. You made their children as numerous as the stars in the sky, and you brought them into their land, so that you told 
the appearance to enter and possess. Their children went in and took possession of the land. He said, do before the Canaanites who lived in the land. He gave the Canaanites into their hands along with their kings and fortified cities and fertile land. I'm going to read it. Along with the kings and the peoples of the land to deal with them as they pleased. They captured the fortified cities and fertile land. They took possession of houses filled with all kinds of good things. Walls already dug, vineyards, olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance. They ate to the full and were well nourished. They reveled your great goodness. But they were disobedient and rebelled against you. They turned their backs on your law. They killed your prophets who had warned them in order to turn them back to you. They committed awful blasphemies, so you delivered them into the hands of their enemies, who oppressed them but when they were oppressed, they cried out to you. From heaven, you heard them. In your great compassion, you give them deliverers who rescued them from the hand of their enemies. But soon as they were at rest, they again did what was evil in your sight. When you abandoned them, to the hand of their enemies, so that they ruled over them. And when they kept, cried out to you again, heard from heaven, and in your compassion delivered him from time after time. You warned them in order to turn them back into your law, they, but they became arrogant and disobeyed your commands. They sinned against you, princes, and which you said, the person who abased them and loathed by them. Stubbornly, they turned their backs on you because you were sitting act and refused to listen. For many years, you were patient with them. By your spirit, you mourned them <laughs> through your prophets. Yet they paid no attention, so I gave them into the hands of the human peoples. But in great mercy, you did not put, put an end to them in a, in a, or, a, to them, or abandon them. For you are a gracious and merciful God. Now therefore our God, our, the great God, mighty and awesome, who keeps his command of love, do not let all this hardship seem terrifying, thrill, thrilling, trip, thrilling in your eyes. The hardship that comes on us and our, on our kings and leaders, on our priests and prophets, on our ancestors, and all you people, from the days of the kings of Assyria until the day and all that has happened to us. You have remained righteous. You have acted faithfully while we acted wickedly. Our kings and le our leaders, our priests, and our ancestors did not follow your law. They did not pay attention to your commands or the statutes you warned them to keep. Even while they were in the kingdom enjoying your great goodness to them, in the spacious and fertile land you gave them, they did not serve you but turn from their evil ways. But see, we are slaves today, slaves to the land you gave our ancestors, 
so they could eat its fruit and other good things it produces. Because of our sins, the abundant harvest, both the kings, you have placed on over us. Their sins is abundant harvest, both the kings, you have placed on us. They rule over our bodies and our cattle as they please. You are in great, you are, we are in great distress. In views of all, in view of all, we are making a binding agreement, pouring it in, with writing, and our leaders and our Levites and our priests by affixing their seals to it. <clears throat> Covenant sealers, those who sealed it were Nehemiah, the governor of Haka, son of, governor, son of Hakaliah, Zedekiah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pashor, Amariah, Micaiah, Hatush, Shebaniah, Maguk, Harim, Melmoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abeha, Miamin, Maziah, Bilgal, and Shebaniah, the war of the priests, the Levites, Yeshua, son of Azaniah, Benai, sons of and their associates, Chemaniah, Hodiah, Kalita, Pogayah, and Hanan, Micah, Wahob, Hashabiah, Sakor, Sherebah, Chemaniah, Hodiah, Benai, and Benio. The leaders of the people, Parosh, Pogoth, Moab, Elam, Zatu, Benai, Bonai, Asgard, Babai, Adamiah, Naya, Miguel, Adin, Ather, Hezekiah, Azor, Hodiah, Heshbon, Azai, Herod, and Enoth, Nabai, Machapiah, Meshulam, Hezar, Meshabel, Zadok, Jadun, Pogiah, Hanan, Anaya. Hashem, Hananoth, and Hashub, Halesh, Pila, Quebec, Rehom, Ba, Shashabaya, Messiah, Ahaya, Hanan, Anan, Maluk, Harim, and Bara. The Writing Covenant. The Writing Covenant. The rest of the people, priests, Levites, gatekeepers, musicians, temple servants, and all who separated themselves from the neighboring peoples for the sake of the law of God, together with their wives and all their sons and daughters, who are able to understand all these now jo now join their fellows, your rights and nobles, and bind themselves with a curse and an oath to follow the law of God given to Moses, the servant of God, and to obey carefully all the commands, regulations and decrees of the Lord our Lord. We promise not to give our daughters in marriage to the people around us or take their daughters for our sons. When the neighboring peoples bring merchandise or grain or sell on the Sabbath, we will not buy them on the Sabbath or on any holy day. Every following year, we will forego work in the land and will cancel all debts. We assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands to give a third of a shekel each year for the service of the house of God 
or the bread set out on the table, for the regular grain offerings and burnt offerings, for the offerings of the Sabbath, and the new moon feasts and all the appointed festivals, for the holy offerings, for sin offerings, to make atonement for Israel, and for all the duties of the house of our God. We the priests, the Levites and the people, have cast lots to determine which each of our families in to bring to the house of our God at set times each year. A contribution of wood to burn on the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law. So we also assume responsibility for bringing to the house of the Lord each year the first fruits of our crops and of the first tree. As it is also written in the law, we will bring the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle and out herds and of our, our flocks to the house of our God as a priest ministering there. Moreover, we are, will bring to those stone rooms the house of our God to the priest the first in the, our ground meal of our grain offerings and the fruit of all our trees and of our new wine and olive oil. And we will bring a tithe of our crops to the Levites. For it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all the towns where we work. A priest descended from an Aaron is to accompany the tithes up to the house of God. To the storerooms of the treasury, the people of Israel, including the Levites, are to bring the contributions of grain, new wine, and olive oil to the storerooms, where the articles for the sanctuary and for the missing priests, the gatekeepers, and the musicians are also kept. We will not neglect the house of our God. Heavenly Father, I brought the best in you, Jesus. The devil is no more power over me. Not believe any of his lies. Always remember, the devil always a power of blind signs and fake wonders. Man, we're doing good today. So, everything's going all right. Um... Mom will be, Mom and I will be back tomorrow, I can tell you about that, but I just turned on my new camera because of what's been going on with the hackers, but this is my new camera, so I say to you guys right now, thank you for watching this daily service in the name of my father and son, Holy Ghost, you take care of yourselves. Good night and amen.